we're gonna feed some bees today. Show you our setup. We use an electric pump. It's not quite as fast as like a gas pump, but it gets the job done. And unless I was charging the batteries to my GoPros, we wouldn't have to run the truck, so be quiet. This is our feed solution. It runs to our little electric tote there, electric pump there. It's like a gas station for each beehive. We have our internal feeders. We fill them up. Super easy to get lost. You're just like, oh, accidental right hand turn into the woods. How do I not know where I'm going after being here for three years? Things can look very different at nighttime. I'm supposed to get down into the upper 30s again tonight, which is pretty unusual here for South Florida. But uh, it makes for moving bees really nice because they stay in the side of the box. You don't even really have to wear gear. Last night loading a semi, I didn't even really wear anything. Granted, I wasn't on the forklift. Spooky. Running out of battery on my light. Almost to the next yard. So I got kicked off the loader. I backed into Nate's Mercedes. It moved like six inches. I thought it was gonna be destroyed, but uh, it, it did dent it, but it wasn't as bad as I would have thought for pushing a car six inches. The Mercedes are solid. But either way, my uh, forklift pass was revoked for the night. So just felt like I should tell everyone that. Stuck. Still stuck. Someone's gonna have to come push me with the torque lift. Just 0 for 2. Backing into Mercedes. Getting my truck stuck. Why we have friends and good equipment. Uh, one, one pallet there that has three singles, and then there's another one there that there's three singles. That's the only. Three so we'll combine them. Be. Yeah, not this one, but there's uh, a another one that is single that ways I could be all flat. Okay. And then, uh, but I'll load all doubles here, I guess. And then, and, and then, then we'll deal the back with the singles. Can, yeah. Then I'll probably put fifteen of this. this, this. <laughs> so we made it to the second yard barely got stuck crashed into a mercedes for a pretty epic night already it was going way too smooth until then i still feel really bad about nate's car like, oh. Oh. all right let's get her done there's monsters in the woods alligators everywhere You can tell my bang energy drink is kicking in. I'm not really a bang energy drink kind of guy. I'm like a coffee guy. Kevin's a bang energy drink kind of 
kind of guy. Pretty much should be sponsored. He buys it by like a case. One a day keeps the doctor away type attitude. But um, everyone always asks, how do you move bees? So this is how we do it. We use our forklift. We use a Hummer V specialty forklift. Load up our 550s, which is these guys. And we bring them into the holding yard where we wait for the semi, which we leave them triple stacked so it's easy to load the semi. And that's about it. So Kev's coming in hot. Go ahead and get this strap and straps. Oh. Get my binder. Oh, there's a bee on me. There's a bee in my hoodie. strap down really like moving these bees at nighttime I mean in the cold way better when we saw I don't know if you guys saw but we shot the footage of moving on Brazilian pepper in August it's like 90 degrees 90 degrees plus bees everywhere getting stung not pleasant this I could do this all night and in fact Sometimes I do do this all night. Loaded a semi truck yesterday. It was late, so we were out till 3 a.m. Just part of the business. The business. So I was just moving a truck, which I do all the time, and they pointed that there was another truck behind me. And uh, you know, you're back into one S class, and people think you can't drive. Made it to the holding yard. It's a cool 39 degrees. Can't really see me. Floor high is a little sketchy. We went to the three locations. Brought in three trucks. Honestly, you can't really see. And I'm tired, but we made it. Better view in the holding yard. Got one of the trucks unloaded. These are triple stacked. Probably about another half an hour and I'll be snuggling with my puppy watching cartoons. Today's gonna be a wild day. We're in three trucks tonight. We're pressure washing one truck before we start loading. A lot of work, we're gonna do it. We started the work at 9 a.m. We'll probably finish the work at 9 a.m. Um, truck brokers have been Losing trucks left and right, that's why we have to do three in one night. Brokers have been dropping bees, picking up bees. Crazy year. It's interesting, like back in the day, I would have just gotten like sick from the stress of like all the unknowns. Like, oh God, are they gonna drop my bees? Are they not gonna drop my bees? In fact, they tried to drop one load and I was like, hell no, we drink beers together. You better not. He was like, alright, you're right, bro. We do drink beers together. And I was like, cool. That means something. And uh, we're getting it done. But uh, enjoy the wild ride of three semis plus prepping one semi in one night. Alright, well, we'll leave the pressure washer um, at that location. I'll drop a pin. I know, when you were like, does it take four totes of water? I was like, it takes one, but for you guys, probably like a third or half. <laughs> like, there you go. The last semi, I just shot the areas that like, you could see. 
Right, I'm like, why do I wash every nook and cranny, really? Like, if they see the other parts that I'm washing, it means, like, I'm screwed. And, yeah, it means it's over. Like, why am I not just washing, like, the ends, really, to be realistic? Like, oh, I'm going to get this nook and cranny they're never going to see figured out. Like, forget that. But, y'all drive safe. Alright, hit me up anytime. Bye. Two semis down, one more to go. Third bang energy drink, three cups of coffee. It's one in the morning. Started work at uh, 9 a.m. So we hit 12 hours at 9 a.m. See what time we get done. Honestly, having fun out here with my friends. The two, probably the two nicest trucks ever loaded. Drivers are amazing. Gonna have to thank the broker in the morning. happening so I'm actually helping my broker input some drops into this application that he uses which is really cool it's really cool when technology and farming come together so I'm gonna show you this we're inputting the number of beehives in the owner of the bees into each one of the location locations within this orchard which I think is really cool this is a really cool way keep track of this um, in the past I've seen this done just on pencil and paper but I happen to be out here and I'm a bee owner I was just coming here to look at my bees and my broker was like hey do you think you can help me with something and I was like heck yeah man so he made me a um, a passcode or I'm not sure I guess you make somebody a username basically so he gave me a username I downloaded the app he created the username and passcode for me. I entered into the app, was able to log in, very easily learn how to use it and implement these different people's names and number of hives into each drop, which um, going through not every drop is actually, bees have not been placed in every drop yet. And so this will allow him to see what he does and doesn't have bees in. So when he comes back at nighttime, it's a lot easier for him to be like, okay, on row number four, all the way at the end, we need to put 40 more hives. And the rest of these are taken care of, and, and so on. So I think that's super cool when technology comes together and helps with farming and makes this job easier because it's a hell of a job. And you can come out here during the day and write all this out and survey it. You get here at two in the morning and whole different story, very easy to get lost. So just wanted to share that experience with you. I thought it was really cool. drove by 
that as you can see we just drove by that set up with the trailers and the big warehouse and we're at the next drop i just inputted the number of beehives and the beekeeper's name that simple really cool technology So I'm gonna keep running around inputting this data, and then when I'm done with that, I'll kind of bring you guys up to speed on where we are so far with this pollination. Rolling around, I may see a lid that I have to adjust. Let's see if I don't get stung in the face. Sting free. So we've gotten all the data entered into the app, as well as fixing any lids. That was basically the job for today. But I'll also explain where we've gotten to so far. So basically in Florida, we did our pressure washing, our cleaning, you know, squared them up and shipped them on semis to California. And uh, now they've landed here. We've unloaded all five semis. They're into their orchards. We've done pre-inspection on two of the five. They passed. We're gonna do another pre-inspection on three more tomorrow. And then I head back to uh, Southern California where I fly out. It's been a good trip, you know, I've overseen most of the semis get unloaded and that kind of fun stuff. Pretty hard to show you that because it's dark at nighttime, but um, you know, basically they come off of the semis and they get spread evenly in these different size drops ranging from six up to 40. And it uh, very easily takes all night. But I was out here spreading two and it went from about 10 p.m. until about 4 p.m., 4 a.m. when I was actually home. You know, it's a very labor intensive job, but it's very rewarding. But, um, so that's where we've gotten so far. I'm gonna head back to the hotel or to this taco restaurant to meet with some other beekeepers, depending on what's going on. So I uh, will check back with you guys tomorrow when we do our last of our pre-inspection before we head out of Madeira. Back in the orchard today doing a pre-inspection to get on the same page with the broker uh, so he knows he had good bees and we know they traveled well and as you can tell they're they traveled very well they're above grade you can see from the outside really that they're booming but since I'm here I may as well take a closer look and um, most of them are above average which is good above average bees there only is an eight frame requirement and uh, we sent pretty much eight to ten twelve plus which is good we want them to have a little extra weight just in case the bloom is late like this year a lot of times the bloom is already open this looks like it's about a week out so they have to have enough food to make it through that until they get more food from that bloom that's kind of how it works Hello y'all, I'm here in South Florida back in my kitchen after my trip to the Central Valley in California. So to recap my trip, I landed in LA, a good friend picked me up, drove me a total of like 15,000 miles, he does it every year, he's a great friend. So we took our journey down into the Central Valley which is a beautiful mountain road that goes right through the mountain, drops down into the valley where you see some of the best agriculture in the country. Um, you know, hundreds and hundreds of miles of just beautiful agriculture. And so we drove down into the Central Valley. We oversaw the semis getting unloaded. We did our pre-grade, all of that went well. So we packed up and drove from the Central Valley past LA to San Diego, where I stayed with my really good friend for now about another week, eating really good food and having a good time. And then after that, I packed up and flew from there back to home, so that was the trip. The other thing that I wanna to touch base on is first off, I just wanna thank you for watching, but second, I wanna say that we have goals for 2022, two in particular. One is to get from one video a month to one video a week. The second is to get to 10,000 followers. 
These are pretty big goals, but we're gonna do it, you know, and really it's up to you guys. If you guys, you know, help me get to 10,000 followers, that really, you know, jacks me up to go ahead and release more videos, which is a lot more work than anyone can imagine, really. And so, you know, I really just hope you guys like these videos. If there's anything that you wanna see, comment down below, I'll make sure that you see it. You know, so tell everyone you know, tell your moms, your dads, your brothers, your sisters, your cousins, your boyfriends, your girlfriends, anybody. Tell them to mash that subscribe button and follow the Buzzin' Bee channel for good bee content. Have a good night and thank you.